Bye, David. Bye. Bye. <laughs> in Tennessee, Tanner or Corey? Oh. Oh, Corey. 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 Corey was like, yeah. You couldn't put sentences together. That's kind of where I'm starting to get. I told him I have to talk slower to really think through my sentences right now because mm -hmm. I've been tripping over myself. Oh, I trip over myself all the time. It's because you don't have big calves. Exactly. No, that's why I'm actually tripping over myself. <laughs> I asked him to get his work done so that we can play a video game together tonight. Yeah. Ooh, what video game? What was it called? So we downloaded uh, Samurai Warriors 5. Mm -hmm. It was a hack and slash. So we're making it cool. It literally is a hack and slash game, and that's part of the reason I'm like, I think I can handle this. Because some of these games, he's so good at video games that he'll get literally like three steps ahead of me, and then I'm like, well, this is no fun because we're not playing together anymore. So I told him, I was like, I need to try and get ahead of you now, so that by the time you're caught up, we can actually do the co-player. Just be like a true gamer, and while he sleeps, grind out the game oh, and level I up. I go to bed earlier than him. <laughs> oh. Did, did someone say 4 a.m. grind? <laughs> 6 a.m. grind? Alright. No, he's been staying up till like 12.30. I'm going to go to bed at 10.30 All right. I can't. I've been working until like almost 12 o'clock every night. Well, part of it's because you're always distracted by your phone. Who's <laughs> procrastinating right now while I'm cooking? Uh, Can you take the garbage out? That's what I was about to do. Thing. So who's procrastinating now? Nobody. I was waiting for you to throw your turkey. So tell me what's going on in here. This is just 99% lean ground turkey. Ooh. And I'm actually really weird and I don't season it when I'm hmm. cooking it on stove top. So that way, when it's done and I'm eating my meals, I can flavor it however I want. So I'll flavor it with dry seasoning or I'll use a moist seasoning, like a sauce. We have this really good vegan buffalo dip from Trader Joe's I've been using, mm -hmm. super low calorie. This is where my creativity comes out is usually in the flavorings of things. I'm okay with eating very similar meals every day but I want them to taste good, and sometimes I'm like, oh, it has to be savory, or sometimes it needs to be more sweet. Why am I getting Just a woman of everywhere? Like, <laughs> these are lost games. It's normal. 
Shush. I actually like that there's some bigger chunks in here. Some people wouldn't like that, but for me, it adds more texture to my meal because if I'm literally doing a meal of turkey with zucchini or turkey and rice, it makes it feel like, oh, I'm actually eating like something that's not dog food. I actually, back in the day, would make turkey patties, but it's so time consuming. I'm just like, meh, we're just gonna do it. So top. Our oven has an air fryer mode, which I'm about to use to make potatoes. So in the air fryer mode, one, two, three, sixty. So it heats it up, and there's a spinner in the back. And then when I put anything on here, whether it's a protein or a carb, the air will circulate underneath and on top of it because of the spinner in the oven. Um, how am I gonna do this without dumping it everywhere? These are common questions I ask myself. And I'm not burning myself. That's the other thing, like he said. I have a really bad habit in. of wanting to grab. And then I'm like, oh, Caroline, that's hot. I'm not kidding. Yum. I'm always... Almost looks like cauliflower. <laughs> Speaking of tables, I don't have that many left, so this isn't gonna last me. This will be like a meal, two meals. That's the only issue with potatoes is like, potatoes are a high starch. For a serving size, you're actually getting a lot out of it. So like, even though they're rated higher on the glycemic index, you still gotta be careful about how much you eat. So I won't do more than like 130 grams of serving, and that tends to be 25 to 30 grams of carbs. But if you buy them from like a fast food store, say you go to Chick-fil-A and you get a small or a medium fry. The medium fry, I think is 48 grams of carbs. And so they also are like 24 grams of fat. <laughs> so you're getting a lot and it's also fried. And it's actually harder on your digestion than if you were to make them yourself. And that's also a reason why I like to buy organic produce. Yes, there still can be ingredients or lingering fertilizers, chemicals on them, but there's less of a chance that they stay on the vegetable if you're buying organic. So you still need to wash them. Like anything you buy, it's still important to wash your produce. Um, Claire. What'd you do? No, it's what he did. He always forgets. Yes, you take the trash out, but what's missing? A bag. And I literally put them right here so that they're easy access. As somebody, now I'm just kind of curious, as somebody who oh, likes so coffee, like, sweeter, what would you say is, like, a healthier way to make your coffee sweet without a bunch of bad-for-you artificial stevia. notes? Honestly, like, stevia and monk fruit sweetener. Oh, this one is great. So I use this in my baking. It's called Miss Jones Art Sugar. Now this is a blend of coconut sugar with, oh my god, so drop it. <laughs> so we have uh, rip, chicory root fiber, tapioca syrup, monk fruit. So I was just saying about stevia and monk fruit are the two best natural sweeteners that are plant-based. Even if you go to a Starbucks and you're like, don't add sugar, I just want stevia packets, you have to watch because they add dextrose to the stevia packets. So then you're getting that added filler in your sweetener pack too. Ooh. See, you got the do's and then you got the do do. With two O's. Two O's. You are special, honey. What do you mean? I said you're special. That's why I love you. Do's. The do's and notes. This is Don't me trying not to cut myself because you're trying to distract me. Well, see, if we were looking at you, you'd cut yourself right now. So I'm actually saving your fingers. So see? you're saying. Oh, wait, wait, wait. And your nails. People you cut, don't. You cut your nails. I actually sometimes. cut my nails. So one time I heard. <laughs> I heard, oh, and then she was like, okay, like it stopped, right? Like, so it was like a halfway scream. And then like, I came down, like literally like she cut through her nail. Like if the nail bed wasn't there, her finger would have been missing. It was like right here. Like that's the sharpest type of knife that there is. And we still don't have a honing blade. Well, because I, it's a special honing blade. We, I need to look it up like for the Japanese steel. Like it's really unique. The Just making blade. potato chips. That's how we're doing. Potatoes. Without cutting her fingers. <laughs> I don't know what this was, but there was a point in time when like I looked down at her fingers and she had band-aids on like three or four fingers. That was when like, I had warts. I was trying to get rid of warts. That's what it was. 
You have a wart right now. Don't even. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You're like, you it's, a, it's actually gone, so it's definitely not a wart. <laughs> so, I sprayed some coconut oil. This is freaking amazing. We found it at Costco. I typically don't do milk or cheese. This is the exception. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes so good. So, it's like kind of thick because there is a cheese culture in it, mm. and I have to put a little bit more on. But, there's another reason I do it over the sink. Easy cleanup. One thing I find really helpful in taking care of the house is learning to clean while I'm doing other things so I don't have to dedicate hours to cleaning on the weekends. It makes your chores seem like so much less when you integrate them into your day-to-day -day routine. It's mm -hmm. the same way with self-care. Break it up and add in pleasure, add in routine into your day-to-day -day life and it just makes it easier. So the nerd in me is coming out because you guys don't know this, but I do the majority of filming for David when he's talking about like knowledge videos and they're done at home. Most of those I do. We're actually in transition right now. So me and Clara are the main video creators and editors. I actually was looking at video bags. Oh my God. Did I tell you what he's called that video bag? The penis bag? Yep. <laughs> Because of the way the camera, I mean, like the way the cameras were laying, it did, it so did kind of give had penis long bag vibes. Telescope <laughs> lens, and it had the liners to protect the lens. And he's like, "Oh, you're gonna get a penis case?" I'm like, "Yes, because that's exactly what I need. <laughs> that's what I want is just to have a case I for just, a penis. I just want a penis case. Yes. <laughs> so we're just waiting on the potato chips. So this is cool. So I can put it in the fridge. Always make sure you let your proteins cool down before closing the containers. That way heat, especially if you're using a plastic container, can release BPA and other toxic chemicals into your food. You also don't want to drink hot liquids out of a plastic container. He said he's not really going to eat this. So what that tells me is I'm going to make five servings worth of my mousse and then when I scale it after it's completely done I'll know how many grams of like protein are in each serving. Each one has 11 grams of protein to start and I'm going to add in my hydro weight isolate. Only half a scoop though because each scoop is 30 grams of protein. So if you do the math 15 plus 11 that's 26 grams of protein. Yep. So I'm gonna go Transfer. It smells so good. I usually don't like vanilla, but this flavor is super good. So this is vegan? Mm -hmm. And almond milk. Just I'm also the small. Real chef work right there. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to scrape down because there's protein powder stuck on the sides and I don't want that. Obviously I want the protein in it too. Mm, just a little bit of goop with protein dust on top of it. Sounds really yummy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gosh, this looks so good. Oh wow. Black whip. That's why I call it mousse because it's just so thick and creamy. Oh my gosh. So good. And this is how you eat good in prep. This is how I used to meal prep actually. I would literally measure out every single meal for a day, put it in my fridge, and then because I was working an office job, I would pull out those meals, take them with me to work, good to go. And it leaves you with no reason to break your diet too. When you literally have everything already prepped, no excuses. So I think that's the biggest key for people to succeed is preparation. I like this one better personally. 
28 grams of protein, 6 carbs, 6 fats. If I don't add anything else to it, which chocolate and peanut butter sounds really freaking good. So, I might add that in tonight. I know it's in that fridge. Mm -hmm. I bought David the sugar-free Hershey's. <sighs> I might add that in, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because honestly, it fits into my macros. I have a balance of micronutrients through the day with different fruits, vegetables, protein sources, fibers, all that I need. It's okay to have one meal that has some artificial sugar in it that's sugar-free. As long as I'm progressing and I'm not having any gut distress, I'm not having any diarrhea, I'm not having any of the things people don't want to hear about, then I'm fine. And that's what people don't understand and they think you can only eat clean 24-7 and I had to break out of that mold because I had an eating disorder at one point where I thought all I could do was eat clean. So thank God I'm not there anymore.